Hey guys, Ben from Idiots Play Games. Today, giving you the series four boosters, uh, leaks, of course. Um, rather than you know saying that I was going to do a huge announcement um, for when everything comes out, I'm just going to do it by day by day when everything comes out. Because um, last set I didn't do it, unfortunately, I just never really got around time for it. But yeah, series four. We don't really have a name for it yet, but we got our first Piccolo leader. Um, a little bit underwhelming, if you ask me. He's he, he's all right, but um, I just don't like leaders that attack on their normal side, just as that being their only ability. So um, Piccolo, green leader. Um, we only got green cards revealed. Um, when this card attacks a leader, draw a card, and when your life is at four or less, you may choose up to two of your energy. You inspect the active mode and flip it so far. On the other side, um, they've added something called bond into the game. Bond is when you... Um, this skill takes effect when you have two or more of the specific battle card in play, which this being Namekian, um, this gains critical. Um, in my opinion, this card isn't too strong. It has the ability when this card attacks, um, you choose up to one Namekian battle card and gains 5k for the duration of the turn. But the thing is, I don't think this kind of ability is really what's going to push the game in a, in a stronger state. Uh, I feel like this leader is only a two star. Um, not much else to say about this leader other than he's a little bit underwhelming, but you'll probably see a lot more play in the future. Next leader is Lord Slug, and by God, do I actually love this leader. Um, green leader, of course, um, only green lead the cards revealed. Activate main. Once per turn, choose one card in your life and add it to your hand. This card gains critical. So this is probably going to be our green Vegeta and do I love this leader yes is he stronger than Vegeta hell no Vegeta has access to um what's it called unyielding so you can like untap and everything but this leader is still strong in its current state so um and then on its awakened side which is better than Vegeta's um when this card attacks draw one card and then activate main place one uh, once per turn place one card from your hand in the drop area your opponent chooses one card from their hand and, and, and places it in the drop area so it's better than vegeta because vegeta loses its ability pretty much when you have four like three life left because you can't really keep taking from your life so if you manage to get this guy down um like let's say turn three or turn two you can pretty much just sit on him as a control leader um four star for this leader you're not going to give him five i'd give him five is if he had the ability to untap as a leader, uh, like uh, uh, if they had a way to untap other than just being. But yeah, four stars for this leader. So our first new Kaba type, um, newfound power son Gohan. When this card attacks, choose one card in your life, add it to your hand. And if you do so, this card gains 10k and critical for the duration of the turn. This card is so strong, we'll probably be seeing like green, uh, blue versions of Vegeta. I reckon this deck, like, card will be put on in literally every single green deck because it just helps you awaken its swing for 15 critical. Doesn't matter if it dies, Carber itself was a strong enough card. This card's even stronger than Carber because it's dealing critical. Double strike is okay, but critical is just the thing that just pushes this game into a more competitive state. So this card, five stars, hands down. Next card, Power Barrier Piccolo. That's a two mana, one green, 15 barrier. Um, unless we get a card that evolves Piccolo, which uh, there isn't so far, um, this card is kind of just trash. So just one star. Reign of Terror, King Piccolo. So it's a dual attack five drop. Uh, the dual attack five drops kind of aren't really great. I feel like if they were just at a four drop, they would be strong. But it is a dual attack, um, dual attack with 25k. I, I personally love playing dual attacks, but the feel, like, it feels like they're not as good enough if they're, if they're not cheap enough. Like, that's just my opinion, of course. Activate main, place one card, uh, place this card. In your uh, drop area, choose up to one of your energy and switch to active mode, then choose up to one Piccolo or Piccolo Jr. with an energy cost 4 or less and play it from your hand. This card's going to be a decent end game. So like you swing with this and then um like tag him out pretty much and bring out another Piccolo and then try and swing with that for game. So that pretty much means that you can, if you have four of these cards in your hand, you can go one, two, three, four and try and swing him down for game. 
Um, I'll give this card a three star. I don't think it deserves to be a four star, but it definitely will see a lot of like play for the people who like all their Namekian stuff. So three stars for Reign of Terror King Piccolo. Gift of Power Guru. Super Kame Guru, that is. Um, activate main, place one. one uh, choose one of your battle cards, gains 5k for the duration of the turn. I kind of don't like this card. Um, someone said it that um, if it had like barrier, um, this card would be great. But the thing is, if it had barrier, it should have been a two drop. Um, rather than just being a one drop. So, like, I kind of am just going to have to give this a two drop, a uh, two star. Um, its current state's not that great. Currently. Like, as far as we've got everything here. Nail, the Namekian Ace. Uh, auto, power bond two. So it's two drop, 10k. When this card attacks, draw one card, and this card gains 5k for the duration of the turn. Um, I'm liking these new cards that, like, draw when they attack, but, the f like, I feel as if, why not just play, like, Bundle of Curiosity Goku, where it's just, you draw. Rather than just awakening your opponent, you can just play a card and then just, you know, um, like, just draw straight off it rather than attacking. Um, but I understand the more aggressive kind of ways of playing. Um, like, you know, I'd definitely be running this in Lord Slug, because that's just the type of uh, plays you'll be doing. Um, and I feel like, like, I don't feel like the 10Ks are just going to stand on the board. Like, if they just leave a 10K on the board, it's going to get piped down. And if you try and save it, then what's the point of really drawing, in my opinion? Like, if you play a card, swing with it, and then have to, like, combo to save it, it I, to me, that's not really worth saving, in my opinion. Um, but I'll give this card a three star. It is a decent card. Uh, Kame the Watcher, um, three mana, one green, bond two, um, reduce this cost, uh, energy's cost by in hard hand by two. So this is your one, uh, like your new one mana, um, draw card. It's kind of strong. Uh, the fact that it's a it's still five k combo and then ten k. I mean, it's it can be okay. Two star. I'll have to give it like why not just give us a card that's a one mana to just draw. In my opinion, so yeah, two star. Kind hearted Namekian Dende, um, one mana, five k combo, and uh, one k power, which is really bad. When you play this card, look at the top three cards of your deck and choose one Namekian out of your hand. So this is your Gawasu of the deck. Um, like comparing these two, Kame and Kind hearted Dende. I feel like Dende is going to see a lot more play just because it's like, it, it's more recurrence. Like, I know you may whiff, but like this card, uh, unless you're playing a, like a control build, you can play like this card and this card together. But um, I feel like this card isn't going to see a lot of play and this card's going to be in every single Namekian deck. Popo, Guardian's Aid. Um, when you attack or combo with this card, if your leader card is green, place up top three cards for your deck. And place in your drop area. Um, kind of like this. It's kind of strong. It helps like warp and everything. As far as I know, there isn't anything that um helps your drop area for being in the Mechian leader so far. Um, so yeah, so far I I don't really know what I think about this. So I'm I'm gonna leave it at a three star. But I feel like this is just gonna be a one star at the end of the day, just because it will help with warp. But what's there to help with it? We haven't seen new black cards. I really want new black cards to come out. But as far as this goes, I'm just going to leave it at a three star. Namekian Duo Sayonel. Um, this is a new 10k combo. If you're Namekian, you gain uh, if five or less. Um, 1k, uh, 10k combo. You know, five star straight off the bat. Is it good as the discard? Is it worth playing over? I'm not really sure yet. Namekian Duo Perina. Um, two mana, 10k. Activate main, choose, uh, once per turn, choose one Namekian from your hand and place it under this card. Draw one card, and this card gains 10k and critical for the duration of turn. Um, pretty strong. Uh, it's recycling your hand, uh, helping you be able to, like, push everything out. Um, so playing, like, this card and the Gohan together, you know, this is gonna push what's it called, Lord Slug, like through the through the roof. On top of that, it's also in Universe 6 and an Alien. That's actually pretty strong because like Universe 6 just got a lot of support. So like you could go, what's his name, the Colifar to bring this thing out and then like 
draw a card and like chuck a card under this and give it critical. And then it's an alien, so you, like you can play it off Vardos, which is pretty strong. So yeah, this card I'll give it. I'll give this card a five star. I think it deserves to be five star. Lord Slug Young again, um, four mana auto to uh, bond two. So this is Slug's army rather than being a Namekian. When you play this card, if your leader is a Slug's army, choose up to one Slug's army in your drop area with an energy cost three or less and play it. Then choose up to one of your energy and switch it to active mode. Uh, this is pretty good. So when you play this card, if your leader is Slug's army, choose up to one Slug army, drop area with energy cost three or less and play it. So, so far, we haven't really seen any that I've revealed so far. But it's a reoccurring thing. That means you just can't really use your drop though. So I don't know how I feel about this. It is four mana that could bring out a three mana. I'll give it a I'll give it a three star. A potential to be five star, but three star for now. Lord Slug return from uh, uh, return to form. When you play this card, choose up to one Slug's army from your deck with an energy cost four or less and add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. So pretty much you could go like combo this. And then this together, it's kind of strong, but it's just like, just a draw card really, to me. Aedonic Warrior Angelia, critical, to, uh, three mana, uh, three mana, one green, so that's kind of strong. Critical, uh, Slug's Army, when this card attacks, if your leader is Slug's Army, your opponent chooses one card from their hand and places it in the drop area. So this is like the new um, like Gothanks, um, I kind of find this card really strong. Uh, the fact that it has to be behind Slug's army, like I kind of like. The fact that it has to be stuck to like Slug's army kind of play. But we'll probably see a lot of decks that um, like will utilize this whole Slug's army thing. So yeah, I'll give this card a 5 star because it deserves it. Head Honcho, I'm not going to try and pronounce that. When you play this, if your leader is Slug's army, play one meta token with 5k. Uh, a 5k power and, and a 5k combo. Uh, it's kind of strong. A little bit. It's like if you play this card, then it's a 10k combo. Like we saw that Goku Black got to see a lot of a lot of play, but that Goku Black only saw play because you could just shigash it out. Um, I feel like this is just going to be one star. I don't see a lot of people actually playing this. Dark Vassal Tambourine? It's just a 2 mana, 2 green, 15 critical, 5k. Um, these cards, I think every single color has it now. I know red has one. Oh, blue doesn't have one yet. So we'll probably get a blue one like this. Maybe not. We probably will see. If blue did get a card like this, it'll be really strong. But um, a 2 mana critical, that's pretty strong. But uh, I don't like it because right now the Trunks isn't seeing a lot of play. I haven't seen anyone use the yellow one yet. Um, just I'll leave it at two star just because it is still a strong card at the end of the day. It's a two star. Dark Vessel Symbol. It's just a one mana locker, but one star. These cards aren't. I don't like. I don't like them. The fact that it doesn't have like any, um, like it doesn't have any synergy with anything so far. Um, you know, Farsha was good because you could like combo over the monkey Farsha and then like bring that out over the top. Because it has synergy, but this card doesn't have any synergy. One star. Dark Vassal Drum. One mana 10k. Bad one star. Special Beam Cannon. If your leader is Piccolo, it gains 10k power for the duration of the turn. And then choose up to one of cards in your opponent's hand and place in the drop area. I kind of like this card. One mana to drop a card from your opponent's hand. Like, let's say that's probably what's going to end up being anyways. Um, that's kind of strong. Um, especially for green, so I'll probably leave this at, at a five star. Um, I like how it's Piccolo specific. You know, we've gotten cards in the past like um, Go Tanks, the Go Tanks tokens that can come out. Um, I like these cards. There's two uh, currently two Piccolo leaders that can abuse this. So yeah, I'll I'll leave this as a five star. I like this card. And then on to our second page. Planet Namek. I don't like this card. Um, it. I feel like it's lackluster. So, field spell. Um, it's a one mana field spell. 
Once per turn, one green energy. So you have to play one green energy and tap it, of course. Oh, wait, do you have to? No, you don't. So, oh, it is once per turn. Choose one card in your hand and place it in the drop area. Look at the top five from your deck and choose up to one to mech in with an energy cost two or less among them and then play it and then shuffle your deck afterwards. Um, like, the fact that you have to drop a card from your hand is really bad. Understand that, you know, like, other, like, it... I'm kind of going to relate it to, um, what's it called? Big Getty Star, Big Spaghetti Car. Um, that is just like tap it and like one mana and then mill the top two and then play one for your drop. This is drop a card. So if I don't like it, it I'll leave it as a two star. A lot of uh, like Namekian decks might play this, but I feel like this card's just going to be dropped in my opinion. So that's it for the series four, but we also got a starter deck as well. Guardians. Alright, so we got uh Piccolo Jr. So I think that's the, the, the big one. Uh when this attacks, draw a card, and then it has the switch to energy. And then um choose up to so one green, choose uh one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost five or less and KO it. This card gains 5k for the duration term. This leader is strong, really strong. Like, I'm going to relate it to Cell. Cell is a leader that can pop things by itself as a leader. Um, the fact that this is the 5 cost, like, uh, fair enough, it could be anything if it was like a 2 mana or something like that. But Cell's just that little bit better because it's also an Android. Um, but I feel like I'll leave this card leader at a 4 star. Um... He does gain, like, you know, extra momentum because he gets the extra power and everything. But the fact is, green has no way of really untapping their own energy. So, in my opinion, it's strong, but it's not... It it could have been stronger. So, yeah, four star for Ping, uh, Piccolo Jr., Evil Reborn. Imbottomal Link Sun Gohan. I like this card. This card has a really neat combo with the old Gohan. Um which I'll get to. So it's a three mana. Um, when you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and then you cost four or less and KO it. So this, this card's really strong because you get to choose it. So that new Broly, that Broly promo that came out, this is just better. You just combo it out and then like you could Shigesh this out and then KO anything on their side of the field with four or less. So kill their KOs, kill their blockers and all that. And kind of really strong. Um, I'll leave this card as a five star. The fact that it's a three mana pop something. Um, but it, it's not up to, so yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it as a five star. In Bottle Link Piccolo, when you play this card, choose up to one certain Gohan Adolescence with an energy cost three or less from your deck, add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. So this is really strong, like you can combo with all the old Gohan cards. Um, so this could search out the 10k that comes onto the field, this can search out um, the promo, the one that attacks, or you can give it double strike. There's a lot of targets that this leader, like this card, can search for. But the main thing is, um, there's a uh, from series two. I'll bring it up real quick. Might take a while actually, so I'll probably just pause the video here. So fully trained Super Saiyan Sun Gohan. This is the card that's going to combo with the other Piccolo. Um, so you can play this card when you play this card, choose up to one piccolo with an energy cost three or less from your deck and play it, then shuffle your deck. So you can play the other piccolo that will search out another Gohan. So you can search out that other Gohan that um can pop and then you can Shigesh that out. In my opinion, that's actually a really strong combo. It's a um, four mana, 20k double strike that brings out another one. Um, the fact I used to play this back in the day with blue, uh, like blue green, where you could combo this, like you could play this and then bring out your 10k combo. Um, I love that idea. I reckon that idea will be like implemented in this game, and I reckon this card is a really strong card now. So let me just get back to where we are. All right. So it comes with this starter deck. It comes with a new SR Piccolo, Lord of Terror, Double Strike. Tournament, Bond 3, Namekian. So, um, and then you reduce this card's cost from your hand by 2. I feel like pushing for the game, this is a really strong card. Um, it's a 3, three mana 25k with double strike. Um, I think there's no other cards that really have this. And then when you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost 5 or less and KO it. 
So it is a pretty strong card. Three mana pop or something on their side of the field. And then um, you could pretty much just potentially swing down for game with this card. Um, it's not specific for your leader to being a Namekian, which is strong. So it can be splashed in, into other archetypes that are going to play a lot of Namekians. So yeah, I'll give this card a five star. I think it's going to be a really good pusher for end game. And yeah, that's it for King Bigelow, Lord of Terror. And then our last card here, Namekian Bond Sale. Um, I really love this card. Um, I think this card's straight up five star. If I could give it a six, I would. When you play this card, draw one card, then choose up to two of your cards in your life. Add it to your hand. If you choose a, uh, one or more battle card, uh, one or more cards, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. This is so strong. It like it's stronger than than um than uh what's his name Tianchen Han. Tianchen Han's good. Yes, Tianchen Han. You can like swing out um. Like, you could swing and then combo it out and then, like, pop their stuff and, like, crit and then, like, be able to awake them real quick. But with this card, um, the thing is, you don't have to swing. You can play this turn three. You can play one turn, uh, like, behind. Um, like, the fact that it isn't, like, uh, like specific to Namekians only, like a Namekian leader, means you can, like, splash in Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku and other things like that. So you can bring this out turn 2. Like if you wanted to and choose 2 of your life and add it to your hand. It will be a like really bad way. But I'm just saying like the potential for this card's a lot. It's a plus 2 or well, plus 3 because it stays on the field. Um, and then KO is one of your opponent's stuff. 5 stars for Namekian Bond Sale. Alright, that's it for the video guys. Um, we will be bringing out new deck profiles this week. Um, I've got a Mecha Veggies Death and Taxes build coming out soon. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.